Welcome back, everyone, to the Play versus High School Championship. We are continuing on with some more Georgia High School Association action as we're now headed to a little bit more traditional field for those that have been watching for quite some time. I'm sure you're going to enjoy Madden 2024. And we got our solos action here. Once again, it is Orbital and Joven on the desk here. It's going to be a lot of fun. We have made our bracket through. And again, in this best of three, it'll be Creekside Madden Red versus I.U here in this grand finals. Yeah, I'm very excited. First time I've gotten to cast Madden, been playing it for basically 22, 23 years. This game is definitely a bit interesting. This game, it is very, very hard to play defense, despite what playbook you run sometimes. Even watching the Madden Bowl, every other game was 30, 40 points aside because certain offensive plays in this game, it, they're just unstoppable. The zones don't get played correctly sometimes. So I think we are going to be seeing the Cowboys taking on the Chiefs. So two fan favorite teams. The Chiefs is probably the most common team. I mean, Patrick Mahomes, Rasheed Rice and all of that. Yeah, you, you can understand why school <laughs> champions, Taylor Swift, Travis Kelsey, all that good stuff. And obviously the Dallas Cowboys on the other side who are perennially the best, you know, they're the, the Super Bowl champions before the season starts every single year, end up winning a playoff game or two max, but the talent on the roster is always loaded. So two teams that should be fairly familiar with very easy to spot all the superstars and definitely at least you know very easy are very fair as far as madden goes mm -hmm. and keep in mind there's always the hand of god carrying over every single player keep in mind the players themselves are also going to have to be up to the test doesn't matter how good your pieces are if you can't run them appropriately i'm very interested because again when we come into this we are going to be running five minute quarters so a little bit shorter i think than what you maybe see in the pro scene but only a hair shorter. A minute, though, to some players can make a lot of the difference. That minute sometimes can mean the difference between a secondary drive or not, that one that you maybe weren't expecting. So the players are going to have to keep this in mind. Not only that, we're also running an accelerated clock. The players will not have as much time as maybe a normal head-to-head. -head. Now we're doing about 20 seconds, whereas usually you get about, you know, 30, 35, like the, like the standard time, I think. Yeah, getting a lead and there's no better feeling than being up 14 and clicking that chew clock button and just watching the life drain from your opponent's eyes. Run a hot back dive, outside stretch, take the knees when they're ready. There is no better feeling than setting up in victory position, knowing the game is completely in your hands. So I am very, very pumped to get into things. We're going to see it is going to be Kansas City at home. They will defer. It will be Harrison Butker kicking things off for us for I.U. And we're going to see Dallas on the return. Mm okay, obviously Turpin running it up the side, going to try and split towards center. Nice little yardage up to about the 38, a bad start here. That one's going to be a little bit nice, but oh, I think we uh, we got kicked out here, unfortunate to say the least. Someone is changing a receiver, I believe. Yeah, I think Rasheed Rice or Kadarius Tony. so oh, infamously has some, some questionable hands in real life, but it's Madden. He is one of the faster receivers on the roster, so it looks like right now we're going for the speed roster. Some of the overalls not going to be for yet. Travis Kelsey, 99 overall, very, very surprising, so this definitely tells you they've played with the team before. They understand where some of the players are going to play, and the big thing in Madden, too, is there's a lot of times where you're going to take a free safety, play him at linebacker. It's a lot about height and strength in this game. Have Having taller players at some of these positions seems to be extremely OP in certain years, and this is a year where it is very true. So and it's actually kind of cool to see these substitutions being made. You see this a lot at the pro level, and even when I queue into multiplayer, usually the game starts instantly. Someone's going into the depth chart. They're going to go try to change things around. So uh, we'll see how much they want to switch around here. Mm. Now, of course, the, the big question to me comes about is how are you going to respond? Because obviously we're only seeing on this uh, on this offensive drive here, the KC side. I want, I'm very interested to see what the Cowboys are going to bring out, of course, uh, for Creekside Esports. It's a big question if you can actually answer this offensive push here. And so I want to see what is going to be laid down in front of us. So we'll get that here in just a little bit, of course, really making sure every single player is set to go. You can go ahead and uh, play some way you wish. But this is going to be, I believe, uh, their name is I Fear Hooks is currently the player running out here. Yeah, still just uh, going to make a couple of changes for the Chiefs. So maybe looking for uh, Eric Berry, one of the great safeties of all time, but I don't think he's going to be on the roster. He retired the year previous, so maybe just checking the secondary once more, checking that receiver roster one more time. Uh, basically, I think it looks like opting for more of the speed lineup, which it is Madden. You don't necessarily have to have the best player speed kills in every aspect of the word, especially when you're playing in the play now, the regular mode, having these faster players, especially at linebacker, receiver, tight end, to give you a massive advantage when you're trying to use or take over the middle of the field, take away some of the routes. It just makes defense a little easier to play. So uh, looks like Kansas City might be done with adjustments. We might be seeing Dallas go into the adjustment menu. The second after this goes out of unpause, it's very common, but we'll see. Maybe they wait for the offense. Going ahead and also ensuring that you get uh, get your favorite plays all lined up here. Trying to ensure that you got it where it's set. 
And of course, this is all the adjustments that you do need. This is going to be a long game if you take a look at it. And so you got to make sure that you're right off the block. Going ahead and uh, prepping themselves here. It is going to be lining up here, of course, for uh, Creekside Esports. With the can, a little bit of ball turping, going to go ahead and carry it and go ahead and cover that ground. Great start. First down already. Yeah, I thought coming out in the zone coverage, Lance is the zone killer. Send a couple players across the middle, especially in Madden. The middle of the field and the sidelines are going to be your best friend. 95% of the play. So, Casey going to be dropped in his zone once more. Pollard is going to grab the hand off Ooh. to the left, up toward the side hole. Looks to gain about eight or nine yards or so. Good little drive to start off from Dallas here. You get the first down on the pass and then follow it up with the run to mix up the play. Going ahead and trying to drop a little bit of cover here. KC gonna look and hold off what could be a little bit of a long bomb here. Of course, you could try and look a little bit short as well. Creekside gonna run it out to the side. Long time waiting to get sacked Ooh. here. Rough time for Creekside Esports. A lot of a loss right there. That was 10 on that one. Yeah, sometimes you gotta click that right stick. You just gotta throw it out of bounds. You gotta accept the play is lost. And George Karloff is one of the better defensive ends in Madden. So that is gonna be a threat. I mean, Kansas City's defense in general, best defense in the league last year on a road to the Super Bowl. Playmakers everywhere. We're gonna see a nice wow. play that tried to go for the user, but that's gonna be hard trying to drag up CD Lamb down the seam. 38 yard catch and confirm. So Dallas right now, they are percolating down the field. Only have 21 yards just outside of the red zone. Prescott on the gun, gonna hand off to Pollard left, should gain about five more yards. So right now, we're seeing a nice methodical drive out of Creekside. And also very quick as well, trying to leave nothing to chance here. It is Creekside just trying to ramp things up, ensure that I fear Hooks does not have any sort of time to rebuttal. That's gonna be a rush once again. This time breaks through the center, rushes it straight in. I think crossed over as well. It is not going to be there. It is gonna be just shy of the goal. Yeah, right now the first and goal at the one. It is basically that dream scenario. A lot of inside zones to that left side right now. A lot of off tackles playing to the strength of that Dallas line being the left tackle. So now first and goal to one. Prescott out of the gun, hands to Pollard, and that is gonna be six for Creekside. A great first try. The defer from Kansas City, you're going to get the ball at halftime, but the defense, a little bit lacking. And I said, it's pretty hard to play defense in this game. You've got to really be on the ball, and we're going to see Creekside a nice, long, great drive to kick things off. Such an exceptional start as well. You mentioned it, this could be a high scoring game, and you know, you take a look at Creekside, and you're happy with the start that you had. It was also very simplistic as well, nothing off or different about it. It's going to be a nice little kick. How far does it go back? Looks like we're going to go ahead and start things off. No, you're going to take. Oh, there we go. I was like, what was uh, that? was a little interesting there. <laughs> yeah, no Madden player is actually going to take that out, especially in, in any type of serious game, especially don't want to risk it. The worst thing is you take the kickoff, you get to the 13 yard line, you get tackled or you get blown up. You fumble that backwards and field mm. positions worse than the balls in the other team's hands. So we are going to see first and 10. First time we're going to see high dot on the stick. It's going to be an outside zone. I can check it. We're going to shake on. We'll be down at about the 29 yard line. A nice little pickup of four. Mm. Great little start here. Going to go ahead and look for a little bit of a right side angle. This will be interesting if it gets pulled off. Keep in mind Creekside had a pretty quick tempo down the field. That's what going to be looking for now a call to the left side as it is going to be a breakaway but caught off very nice read there by Creekside denying any further attempt that's only about four yards so far setting up for this third down this will be a big little question mark for Holmes Set to go again watching these routes though how far are you going to try and move it is Creekside to go ahead and wait their time out long fall back waiting 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 now getting chase here launches that about yeah, just a nice smart play. You don't want to get backed up anymore. Punting off your own goal line and not going to be optimal. In fourth and six, you can still go for it. You take a sack there. It's fourth and 15. You're already down a touchdown. That's one of those decisions that can kind of break the game open early for you. But we are going to see Kansas City typical fashion. They're going to go for it. Fourth and six. Mahomes out of the gun. Check out to the left. We've got Rice off to the left. We've got Trips on the right. Possibly looking for Kelsey or Tony on the outside corner. Mahomes is going to drop back for the C. Oh. He's going to try to set this one deep. And the Spot nice. from Trey Vaughn Diggs locks him down, and that is going to be first and 10 the other way. Very, very smart play there. And, you know, Creekside making sure that it is I dot you really on that hold. And obviously this flip puts it straight into the Dallas favor. There is no doubt in my mind that this is going to be a score within one or two like they did previously. And I dot you kind of a struggling deciding what they want to do. They haven't gotten off the run just yet. They've been a little bit 
worrisome in terms of their defensive end. And as you mentioned, it is difficult to do so. However, the rush right up the middle gets a yard or two, three on that play. Yeah, and right now, if you're Dallas, just keep pounding the rock. You're getting three to four yards a carry. You run that up three to four times a drive. You're going to be getting these first downs, especially when Kansas City, they're not really bringing pressure. They're sitting back in the zone, trying to read some of these crossing routes over the middle. But you've oh. only got one user, and that is speedster Brandon Cooks just dissecting on the right up the left seam there. That is going to be another first down. First and goal at the Aiden. Once again, Creekside and knocking on the door. Very, very nice here. And I mean, there's there, there's nothing to be done here. I think I.U is going to be a little bit questioned, but that is going to be the end of the first quarter. Simple as simple does. 7-0 to is about all you can get. Creekside looking pretty good, though, for the second quarter. Yeah, I'd love to see the balanced offense. I've always I've always predicated my Madden game at 75% on the run and then just try to find those windows, try to get that user a little bit confused and then open up the passing game. So I'd love to see you open up. You just take the easy routes. You run the ball a couple times, run inside zone a few times off to the left, and then it can open up the play action. It can open up the middle of the field. So once again, zone coverage. Looks like Kansas City is going to bring a little bit of heat here. Prescott is going to be a handoff, so Ooh. pressure is going to get home. That's going to get stuffed at the goal line. Loss of two. Going to have second to goal at the eleven. And that was a much needed stop as well. I.U has been faltering a little bit on the defensive end. They had a lot of pretty quick seven, I think. And so now you're gonna go ahead and try your best to hang on to it. You're gonna try and push them back a little bit further, but second and goal still within field goal range. There's no worries about it. We're dropping back a little bit. Quick charge, but a quick fly off as well. Great catch. I think you got pretty dang close as well. Good pickup here. It is I.U now to defend against what is this third and goal. Yeah, you're going to really want to try to hold them out of the end zone here. You can see Dallas already going to bust out the two clock. True Madden player. Give the opponent <laughs> absolutely zero time to play. I absolutely love to see it. Third and goal from the sixth though. Prescott is going to have to roll left. Doesn't have anything open. Looking to toss that one away. Will get it out of his hands just in time. So you maybe assume the field goal crew is going to come on here. But granted, the fact that it is fourth and goal at the six, I could see a world where we are going to go for it. But instead, we're going to bring out Brandon Aubrey. We're going to kick a 23-yard field goal. Assuming it's going to land through the middle. And that'll be a 10 nothing lead extended for Creekside. Very smart so far, and uh, I'm liking this right now. We are seeing Creekside look like the more dominant force. We had some hiccups and questions in the earlier stage. When they did get the sack down, they got pushed back pretty far, but immediately bounced back and no worries at all. That slight little hiccup has not changed them at all. So called off force back at the 25, and it'll be I.U to try their second offensive drive of this game. Yeah, I want to maybe look to see them try to get the running game going. I feel like they had a couple nice rushes last game or last drive. Kind of got away from it then, right? When you have Mahomes and Kelsey and you have all these really, really awesome, fun tools to try to use, you want to push the ball down the field. You want to hit up those seams. You want to go deep post, deep quarter. So I like to see the inside zone. He said. He's like he said. 45. Oh. He's got a lot more space, though. Stephon Gilmore is finally going to run him down. But that is going to be a 20, 25-yard gain for Pacheco. And that is exactly the way you want to start a drive down 10. Jovan, you got to stop being a psychic, man. You got to stop calling it. You too said run it. They game. ran it. Immediate 25. <laughs> so well done. Now, of course, we're taking a look at I.U. Yes, you had enough there, but now you got to make it the other half of the field. So this is where things get tricky. I don't think Creekside is going to get jammed up like that again. So I, we really have to watch this next set of downs. Is I.U. going to be able to pull it out? Is I Fear Hook's going to be good enough to be able to uh, route themselves appropriately? You can see here a little bit of a deep pull. I wonder if Creekside is actually going to try and rush. But, of course, you can see the very deep coverage. No reason to get excessive. No, no reason to get silly is the best way to put it. No reason to uh, put you know, 10 points difference. Yeah, so going ahead, dropping far back, off to the left side, able to grab, and a very nice first down once again. Yeah, the one thing that will destroy man coverage is Patrick Mahomes. It is Travis Kelsey. Kelsey is so fast off those outbreaking routes. Went off right to the sideline. Actually, oh. potentially, yes, they got some of the yard back. Third and six, though, from the 36. You still want to try to get a little closer. This is definitely field goal range for Butker. It is going to be an inside zone once more to protect her, but he is going to get locked up once more. So fantastic read by the Dallas defense. We're going to swing this into a fourth and four, and we're going to go a little bit of rush offense out of the Kansas City camp. Mahomes in the gun. Pacheco off to the right. Got Kelsey on the right side possibly as the extra blocker but it is going to trickle down to the two minute warning as expected it would be a little bit crazy to call a play there but we have seen it before even in professional level so it looks like it's just the field goal. you're down 10 you just take your points you 
Oh, he was a bad thing as well. My eyes are deceiving me half the time as well. I do apologize. What I call, but we are looking at a little bit of point down there. Creekside side going to happily try and take their own if they can. This is going to be that big play overall kickoff here. Butker going to send it. We'll see where that lands. Of course, just a little bit shy. You're going to let it roll right back in. Of course, as we said, this is the general start. As always, it'll be Dallas to try and figure out what they want to do. Creekside has, of course, been pretty quick on their own calls. This is how I know both of these both these players have played a lot of Madden. That is like the, there was a cheese kickoff for several months when the year started. You could kick it to the fullback and you could basically blow him up on kickoff for free every time. And it would involve <laughs> kicking the ball to that exact spot before it got patched. So these guys have definitely been on the snakes for quite some time. I definitely love to see the uh, the kind of back row that you can play. But we are going to see Kansas City finally the defense. They're going to make a nice read on the run. Karloftis able to shed the right tackle and lock that one down. So we're going to have Second and long for Dallas. Prescott back in the gun. He's got two receivers to the left. One split off on the right side. Possibly looking to go either down the sideline, up a senior. It looks like it's going to be zoned. A little bit of pressure, mm. but a little too cute at the little delay game there. Prescott, a little too quick to call hut. Too slow. Which is interesting. Creek, uh, Creekside has been one of the more interesting players so far. Has had some of those larger mistakes that we've seen on the field. That's the first flag that we've seen cost down for anything. But yet, has such explosive offensive power and has been the one to kind of uh, pick up the right pieces to go ahead and score those 10. So to see these kind of mistakes happen, it does make you feel kind of bad and say, hey, maybe this is the window of opportunity I dot you would like to use right now. Third and 11, pretty long way down the field. Let's see if they can pull it off here. Time winding down. One second left once again. And you run out the clock. Whoa. Ooh. This hurts. Unfortunately, when you're playing the Dallas Cowboys, you will do as the Cowboys do in real life. And <laughs> things will start to go haywire when they're looking so good. And for the thing now, if you're Kansas City, if you're able to get this ball back, it is make it, take it for you. You deferred to start the first half. So if you can drive down, even get that three points, you're going to get that ball right back. It's going to give you a chance to either bring it within one or end up taking a nice lead, but that's going to be a bit of an errant throw out of Prescott. Looking to go up the left side corner. That's going to be picked off by Boyd D. Looking to see if he can make it all the way down to the four, but that is exactly what the doctor ordered. Talking about make it, take it. Now you've only got four yards to tie the game. So, so simple as well. We saw that a mile away, and yet you had yep. to throw it away. So Creekside kind of frustrated about what's down. That's about three mistakes in a row that has stopped all your momentum, and you're, you have to be kicking yourself for that one. KC getting it right in front of the goal line and pretty much happy about it, but uh, unfortunate we are going to have some technical issues right there, I think. So uh, feels a little bit bad overall. Yeah, we're getting a pretty good game toward the end of the second. It was starting to get great at the end of the first half. We saw Dallas have a dominant first quarter. Of the run game looked great. Kansas City, the defense finally shows up. A couple mistakes, right? When the game starts to slip, that's kind of the Madden player mental, though. It's like, okay, I know I lost six, seven yards. I can beat this guy for 35 down the middle. Surely he's not going to lock me up again. And then you end up throwing a pick like that where it's very, very bad in a bad spot. So unfortunate the way that went. But, I mean, a great game nonetheless with Kansas City. I'd be literally knocking on the door. Mm -hmm. And these are these are something that I really do want to talk about because you take a look at the match itself and you look at what's been transpiring in Creekside. Amazing first quarter. Looked great out of the gun. Very quick one. I think that was what only like five or six plays straight down. That is that is extremely quick, by the way. If anyone hasn't played Madden, that is quick. Very fun. Very great to watch. But you can't let these mistakes happen one time to let the clock run out. That's you know I understand it's online. Whatever you want to say, anything like that. Two times massive offense like you had to be aware of that and then to throw a pick like that those three in conjunction and make me actually very worried for the rest of the series so we are going to go to a very quick break we're going to try and figure out what's going on and we'll hopefully get right back in with this series because as joven said it's been getting good please don't go anywhere all righty technical difficulties are done and we are back with what hopefully is going to be the remainder of this game number one more than excited for this because of course it is going to be a little bit of a tough one dallas of course had made a couple mistakes there creek side letting the ball get intercepted and of course run over to their own side so it will be i fear hooks to try and go ahead and even up the score yeah, we are going to have to see. Unfortunately, the uh, the death chart swap a room again has to get the reset of the game. So got to go through the death chart again, <laughs> get all the speed players in, go to the linebackers, the corners, the safeties. Hopefully we'll have the have the system down, have the uh, the cadence to get everybody switched in nice and quick. But we did see before the break, it was Dallas driving down. And then unfortunately, a very ill-timed interception, flipping the ball on the goal line. Kansas City takes over, able to get it reset basically exactly where it was. I think it was 29 seconds, first and uh, first and goal on the four. So we are basically exactly back to where we were. 
and the city will receive the second half kickoff. So this is a perfect make it take it situation when they didn't really have a great first quarter, couldn't really get much going. It was a lot of mistakes. And now it has been Dallas making most of the mistakes. And with that in mind, I do want to get your opinion on this because I always think it's interesting talking about, you know, mistakes that occur. I can only assume that Creekside is not going to make these same mistakes again. These are mistakes, you know, that are happening that are, of course, in game number one. If we go to game two, for me, it's like I want to watch I Fear Hooks come back with a bench and be able to make the plays on their own. What so far are you seeing them need to correct if they want to make their way into a game two scenario? As far, I think pretty much all two or three interceptions, and I'm guilty of this to every Madden player, is that sometimes you draw up a play and there's a receiver that it's like, I don't even care if this guy's open. I'm just going to throw it to him. And it's a really bad habit, but sometimes you're like, this is a money route. This guy's guaranteed to get open. So you almost just pre designed the play going, okay, circle's going to bust open. I'm going to throw it to circle down the seam. And sometimes that is not the move. Sometimes they make a read on the ball. We saw it last time. He runs a couple guys into deep zones. They're able to get over the top. So I do the same thing. You start a play. This is like your money play. Maybe it works a lot online you look you have this target you have travis kelsey or someone you're like okay this is my money play there's no way this can go wrong the second i snap the ball i'm throwing it to him and then we saw dallas jumps the route walks it back the other way so that is usually the most common mistake it is very hard to correct because in the moment you're like surely this is the right one and the second every single player to the second you click that button and you realize it's bad they just face palm immediately and, and pray it's not a pick six <laughs> feels a bad man so for the other side we are looking at i fear hooks to try and manufacture some of their own but we are back into the game here remember it is 10 looking right now so we're back by seven but we are looking at i fear hooks on the side of i dot you to try and change things back into the favor 28 seconds on that clock so maybe a rush down afterwards as well but we're going to go ahead and see if they do decide to burn the clock or not. You can see the time winding down. Maybe they go ahead and use it all, but I don't think you want to sit there. It is going to be a rush. Pacheco will go ahead and grab it, try and stumble the way in, and they do straight past some of the defenders. Very nice. Yeah, nice outside zone to the right. No blockers able to get out there for the, or rather, no defenders to the side of Dallas. Just a nice, simple play. When it's first and goal on the three, you have three timeouts. You can basically afford to run whatever play in the playbook you're feeling like. You don't have to risk going for a fade or trying to throw something over the middle and it getting picked off. So only 18 seconds on the clock. We might see Creekside try to go for something here. This is one of those really, really risky times in Madden where you have to not let the ego take over. I would probably maybe try to throw something toward the sideline, throw the ball that has no chance of being intercepted. So if it goes out of bounds, it's incomplete, no harm, no foul. You do not want to give even a chance at three points and then get the ball back at halftime. Such a nice way to play it for Creekside. Make sure that you don't have too many problems. Uh, setting yourself up for a nice a little play here if you get something if you get inside field goal range as well that might be nice gonna go for just a simple route long receivers though just yeah this is this is gonna be uh, that long ball shot look at that sprint though prescott getting forced out here gonna dive forward though so it is okay. a rush up and you get the first i think Am I? Yes, you did get the first down. I was like, man, my eyes are still deceiving me. You could be looking potentially at a field goal if you're Dallas. All you need is about 20, 25 yards realistically to get into field goal range. If you can throw a quick out to the outside, you can even throw something over the middle if it's safe. You can take 10 to 12 yards. Call oh, that timeline wow. away. That looks like that's what they're going to do. A nice little check down to Pollard, but Ooh. I maybe wouldn't have tried to go to the sideline. You were never going to get there to stop that clock, so it is going to be a quick timeout. You're probably still looking at another 15 to 20 yards for a field goal realistically, maybe even 20 to 25. So maybe just take a shot at the end zone here. The clock will probably hit triple zeros at the end. So potentially try to fade up CD Lamb, try to look for Brandon Cooks down the left side corner. Looks like they maybe get to try to go over something over the middle. But at that point, yeah, it's just going to be, a, you know, that's garbage time points. That's going to be some more yards for Dak. But that is a 10-10 first half, and IDOT will be receiving. I like this so far, Casey, able to make it back. And... I fear Hook's more than happy to kind of sit in this halftime area. Now Creekside, for their own, is kind of left wondering, how is this going to play out? You got a quick score of 10, and you got stopped in your own. You got a little bit uh, risky with it. So let's see what else they can do here, setting up their own. So that's game plan is ready to go for the KC side, for Creekside, though. Let's see what they can throw down. Kickoff for the third quarter, five minutes on the clock as per usual. And we'll see what they can do. It'll be a KC try and set their own as they'll receive and see how they play out. 
Yeah, the fact that you are playing Kansas City and you have this garage full of Maseratis and Porsches, I would like to see them just come out, go to the run game, try Whoa. to get the easy stuff, take some time off the clock. Canary Sony is going to take that one out. Maybe a bit questionable, especially when you are literally at the nine yard line of the end zone, but that is going to be a return. A rather lackluster one. To the team. Yo, yo. I mean, that was, you know, when we say take a little bit of spice to give you your best shot, I'm not sure if that's the one that we want to go for, but he did go ahead and do a little bit of an option in here, just trying to call out and see what he can get. And try and run it right up the middle, though, at the end of the day. And you're able to try and break through for a couple extra yards. Yeah, nice little run up the gut. That's going to be about five for Pacheco. So exactly what I wanted to see IDOT go for. Try to get the run game going early. Then you try to get Dallas, bring those defenders into the box. Maybe try to bring some pressure. You can run the play action. You've got a lot of speed on the outside. You've got Kelsey in the middle. You have so many weapons to play with. But nice sell out there by the Dallas defense. They're going to lock that one up. Well, we won. Shame on me. Full me five nah, Not going to happen. Once again, forcing back eight. We're third here. Mahomes gonna go ahead and line things up. Let's see what we go. Our one currently like straight down. A lot of time. The square is open. And they land it rice more than easy on the catch. How far are you gonna go? A little bit of a nice play, and that'll be a quick touchdown for I.U. 83-yard bomb to Rasheed Rice up the right sideline. It's just one of those deep crossers. This is one of the, probably the most killer route in the history of man. When you, you have a linebacker or you have a mismatch over the middle when you're playing man coverage, sending that pressure, as long as he beats that first defender, it is pretty much all wrapped up from there. And the speed of Rasheed Rice being that KC number one receiver, just able to blow by the defense there. 17 to 10 lead. So, you know, run the ball once or twice, then you set up, you go for the deep shot. That is textbook football. And that is how you score, I think, 14 on answer points. Very, very clean. And again, off of Creekside's own mistakes. And now we're going to see uh, the way that we normally see a play. Of course, now we can't fault I.U. for pulling off that run from uh, their own goal line. It's just like, oh, okay, okay, okay. Maybe you had something in there. Of course, for Creekside, they're going to try and answer back. And in this third quarter are the ones down and deep. So Creekside, they can't be making mistakes once again. Remember, we saw two delays. That wasn't good. We saw an interception, of course, come out. We want to see these mistakes shored up as we get underway. Yeah, we are going to see Prescott in the gun. Pollard out to his left. Looks like it's going to be a quick slant over the middle. He's got a couple players that he could possibly look oh, for. Oh, wow. Very, very lucky, but the tip drill will go to C.D. Lamb over the middle. So definitely an Aaron throw getting a little bit bailed out there. And C.D. 8-8 hanging in with that one and corralling that one. That is going to be first and 10 for the boys. Listen, a happy little accident. Mission failed successfully. Call it whatever you will. You moved up the field, and uh, Creekside will take that one all day long. Another long ball chance for so short. Lamb is able to pick it up and break pass. A little bit of a mistake from I.U., and now you just sprint your way. You're going to be knocked down at the five. What a run. Two plays, and you're already in the score line. And it's just really, really simple at a creek side. He either wants to run outside zone to the left or he wants to bring something over the middle or hit a deep flag out to the left. If I'm IDOT, I might just start zoning up four defenders, maybe playing a QB spy, something of that nature. Pollard looking to fight through the pile, will get down to the one. So second and goal at the one. Prescott back in the gun. Pollard hanging off to his right. Possibly an inside zone angle, but Ooh. the sellout to read with the user. That is going to be IDOT stopping him at the goal line. Third and goal at the three. Still got a little bit of time to work with, of course, but time is winding down here, and I think this is what Creekside did before as well. However, going to go ahead and try and launch it. Run up instead. Prescott, though, can't get anywhere close, and we're on fourth down. Yeah, Prescott's fast, but it's not like you have Bo Jackson in the backfield. He's not going to be able to just break through that front line and scurry into the end zone. So it is going to have to be settled for a field goal. Aubrey is going to knock that one through for Creekside. So a nice stabilizing drive. You at least put three on the board. And at least if you're Creekside, the one thing you can look back on, you play defense a couple good downs in a row. Then you just got beat by the big shot. So you've got to zone up these defenders. You've got to make sure you've got two on Rasheed Rice or whoever the primary target's going to be in. Maybe we are going to see a, yeah, I was going to say, maybe it was a setup to get the longer touchdown, right? If I return the kick to the 12, I could score an 88-yard touchdown instead of 80. So this time, I don't know look for the touchback. I like the fact that you and I were just like, are you going to do it, Ida? I mean, you did it last time. Are you going to do it this time? Nah, you're not going to do it. All right. Listen, the middle little run, but well called. Good dodge to the left side, but still only going to get about three. So not too bad to start things off. As we said, run a little bit, try and draw defense as such. But Creekside is more than ready for it. Of course, lining up for this second. How much yardage are you going to get? Remember, this is where it was a long ball bomb, and I thought you was able to make really good adjustments for it. 
for us to take a look at this. 17 seconds, more than enough time to figure things out if you wish to change things up. But it is going to be a drop back. Enough time, and then sprints out to the right and throws it just a little bit ahead. Ooh, a, a rare miss by Mahomes. Maybe a little bit off on the passing timer as well. Had a couple receivers open to that right side of the field. This great job by Creekside, though. The long ball was completely locked up. He had the safety in a deep zone and had man to play off of as well. So great adjustment there. It is going to be into the third and seven. Pacheco lone back in the backfield. You've got Hardman and Rice split off to the right. Kelsey possibly looking to go up the left sideline here on the post. You've got Nolan Gray possibly down the seam as well. Looks like the tight end might possibly go up the middle, but the pressure is going to get there. Demarcus Lawrence and the crew getting home, and that is going to be fourth and seven for KC coming up. For I.U., I will say they haven't had the same mistake in issue of letting a sack go through, able to dump that ball as quickly as possible. Now, of course, here comes the punt. No chance at a fourth and attempt. Instead, they're going to send it down the field. Creekside wants to run on the right side of theirs. We'll see how far they can actually get. Going to let it drop much further back, and it bounces forward. Oh, that could have been I know you can backspin the kick, but I didn't. That was a crazy amount of backspin. Maybe you should have just tried to push it toward the sideline instead. At that point, I'm probably just going to kick it out of bounds at the 12 or the 13 because that backspin was extremely fortunate. But hey, that's football. The ball is shaped that way for a reason. It's going to bounce away sometimes. And Pollard going to break one off to the right side, going down the sideline. Only two defenders to beat, but that is a massive gain. That's going to be about a 30, 40 yard gain for Tony Pollard. That is going to be Dallas right into Kansas City. That feels real bad. I doubt you was trying to hold it down and unfortunately let's slip a massive one. And now you gotta have a lot of large questions to be had. You go ahead and some Pollard, but this time red. Once again, Casey able to shut that one down. Puts two more to try and sprint here on the second. Yeah, Kansas or Dallas, second and 12, 25 seconds left before the third quarter does close. So you've got lots of time. The touchdown would give you the lead. Field goal would at least make it a one-point game, put you in striking distance. So a little bit of motion out of Ferguson. Pollard still going to be in the backfield. Looks like Kansas City trying to get a read with the user. Cook is going to hover over the middle, but that's going to be C.D. Lay. Oh. Open underneath, and the speed is going to Very come. Nice. That is going to be a 12-yard gain up the right sideline. That should take us to the fourth quarter, and Dallas will up first and 10. That's an amazing one to be had. Creekside being able to fight back. Remember, very quick offensive in quarter one. Wants it for the third, and as you said, calls it out fourth quarter. Here we go. You can see the spread of points are massively different than what we saw earlier on. That's kind of the fun part about this. Game one is in this best of three, and I'm curious to see what the adjustments will be coming into game two. That'll be the fun part about it, but let's get underway first and ten for Dallas. More than within scoring range, because it off the right side. Good blocks to be had. Ferguson going to dump it in, tiptoes in. I, I think that's going to be a nice one. Oh! That feels good. Man downfield. Yeah, trying to run the screen pass. You've got to essentially, if you're going to go through the fake handoff and fake the bootleg with that, you've got to throw the ball right away. Offensive linemen are not allowed to go down the field before the ball is thrown. So just like that, he makes a good read that time. You've got to get rid of the ball right away on that play or it is inevitably a penalty just like it is in real life. So a nice check down. It is going to be 7 and 10. Recovered pretty nicely. 23-yard line right now, just knocking on the door of the red zone and going to see if they can cook something up. Don't have to get all 10 yards on this play. You've got two downs to make it up. You could potentially look to go for it on fourth as well but Prescott is going to drop back he's got CD over the middle again these slants are killing IDOT no adjustments whether it's playing a different man or zone but right now same play continues to farm and I love the fact the Greek side is like yo it's working it's working let's go ahead and keep running it this time though a little bit longer on the hole Prescott looking for an over receiver and that's come back with one interception Reed holds it down and that's frustrating to be had four minutes on the clock and I thought you just made another massive play so that was the best mechanical chess match I've seen all game when you're playing as the quarterback you can use the right stick and make that receiver run so he the Cowboys player Creekside he made CD manually run up to the end zone then I dot ends up reading it back he cuts back with Justin Reed reads the route picks it off that is a user alert and that is the best feeling in the game of that so you read your opponent like a book you catch on at the last second especially at the goal line where it's dangerous and now the clock you got four minutes left to play you're up four you're in a bit of a sticky spot here but if you can get a first down or two you can take a lot of time off the clock and put Creekside in a bit of a tough spot mm, well right now maybe you're not waiting as long as you may have thought that's going to be third and seven as a decent stretch we had remember I thought you honestly even in a uh, second and third quarter you were okay but not amazing Right, and so in this current moment, I'm kind of curious to see how they're going to break away. Maybe get a long ball down. You can see a couple of longer routes to be had. 
the crease side probably more than ready for the situation to be had. 19 seconds. Are you going to try and wind down the clock? Who oh, waiting to see this entire time? No, you're going to go ahead and open up. A little bit of faith in the left, but that's straight down the center. Great grab by Gray. Breaks through two and is able to hang on to it. Almost saw him a half second late. That tight end was open immediately and almost took a little bit of a second to get the read, but the check down is going to be there. And you mentioned too, with the time running out, uh, one of my favorite sayings in Madden is that there's, oh, there's just enough time to do something stupid. All it takes is one play to throw the entire game. You click the wrong button, you wiggle the wrong way, you get hit stick, and all of a sudden the game could start to look pretty drear. So right now, though, this is a great drive out of Kansas City. Just keep pounding the rock. You're going to run it down there to it the is. two minute warning only. Alice still has all three timeouts. Kansas City only at the 28, but two more first downs, or maybe one depending on the clock, will effectively ice this game. I think that's what you're trying to do. I.U has been given so many opportunities, and they don't want to let it go to waste. Right now, running it straight up the center. Go ahead and grab a couple yards. Five, actually. That got a lot farther than I thought they were, and it's a very nice job. Yeah, right now, Dallas just getting gashed up in the middle. It was the weakness of their team in real life. Green Bay ran all over them in the playoffs, and now kind of rearing its head in the finals for Madden as well. Right now, second and five. You've got to find the stop between the Cowboys. Hey, great, great. Receiver screen. They are going to end up gaining four on the play. Dallas not going to call any timeouts yet. Maybe expecting, trying to see if they can get this stop or willing to let the clock run a little bit lower and then take that chance. It's going to be the oh, same. Oh, so good. Again. Fake handoff, wide receiver screen. Nice little dump off to the left. That is going to be, it looks like McCall Hardman is corralling that one in. 30 seconds left. Dallas has three timeouts, but this is pretty much going to be game if they get one more first down. Oh. He's going to oh. break it up the right sideline and will smartly take a seat because these timeouts will not be enough to run the clock. I think Creekside knows that that's why the timeouts mm -hmm. are not being called. And that is going to be 17-13 down at 10-3 at one point. That is going to be I dot you recovering nicely and taking game one. I think that's the best way to make use. Remember, we mentioned it quarter in the first and second quarter, the first half even. We saw mistakes occur from Creekside, had the momentum, had kind of that advantage in the early state, but you allow those mistakes to get to you, and all of a sudden, I.U does have those few opportunities. What was it? One of those uh, long ball plays. It was the uh, attempt from 12, I think is what yep. it was, and then just ran it all the way down. You can't. Creekside needs to shore up uh, a little bit. If any play is going to be made, I think I.U needs to manufacture it on your own. If Creekside wants to have a chance to force this to a game three. And that's why Madden's hard because Creekside played honestly a really solid game, solid game plan. But in Madden, because it's not, you know, not real football, you can score a lot faster. Making two mistakes, throwing two picks will usually lose you the game. The turnover battle is typically where the game is decided. If you play the entire game and don't turn the ball over, you might not win every game, but you're going to cut out so many unnecessary losses from your record. Just ball control, trying to take the field goals, punting when necessary, not trying to go for too many crazy plays. So see if they can reel it in a bit. The offense was going in the first half, couldn't really get anything to second half i think panic maybe started to set in even though it was only a one possession game basically all the way through going back and forth so just try to settle in a bit don't make these predetermined reads kind of take what the defense is giving you and if that quick slant over the middle is going to keep working just run the same play it's mad it's perfectly okay to spam the same play nine times in a row if you got to read for it no no one's going to be upset at you i think no one is going to sit there and be like yo you got it you got to spice it up i think some of the uh some of the I don't know. Some of the other players that might not actually know will be like, why don't you mix it up? It's like, no, it's still working. I don't want to change it up. If it works, it works. I'm going to keep winning. That's all it's going to be. At the same time, taking a look at the side of I.U, you have to understand this was not of your own manufacturing. You got a few lucky breaks. You have to be kind of wiping a little bit of sweat off your brow. Going into game two, what do you want to see changed up from I.U? Because obviously you can sit there and say, most likely I'm not going to get two delay penalties. I'm not going to get that lucky break once again. Yeah, if you're I dot the second half of the game is how you should go into the next game. The second half, it feels like the first half, it was like, let me throw my streaks, let me take my chances. Maybe it, right, some of those reads too. When you have Hardman running down, two defenders are literally running lockstep. But it's not Calvin Johnson, it's not Randy Moss. He's not gonna go up there and beat two defenders. He's a speed receiver, he's good for running quick cuts, quick inside routes. You're not gonna be able to beat somebody over the top with a six one, six two receiver. So just don't take those unnecessary reads. Try to play more control. The second half was basically flawless. You scored at the end of the second half, you made a great read. He made the counter read to get two interceptions later in the second half. Just ran the ball, ran the ball, ran the ball. Like we said, if it's not broke, don't fix it. If you're getting six yards a carry, why would I ever not run the ball? I'm wasting 30 seconds off the clock and I'm getting first downs every other place so just keep doing that like rice it's it's you kind of get enamored with mahomes and kelsey but you have to just sometimes run the <laughs> ball play safe play smart and then just like that you can squeeze out a win 
And for Creekside, if we don't see any of those mistakes, what do you think is going to catch him off guard? Do you want to stick with the Dallas squad? I mean, obviously, he's felt very comfortable with the entire team, but is there anything that you'd like to change up fundamentally for this team moving into game two? I mean, fundamentally, the Cowboys are chokers. It is what it is. So if you pick the Cowboys, there's going to be an inherent risk of something going wrong. And first half looks great, right? Everything looks great. Dallas, this is our year to win the Super Bowl. Second half, same old Cowboys. You, you got to find a way to close leads. You got to find a way to win big games. So I don't think it's anything wrong with the team. They, they had 13, 14 All-Stars last year. So nothing to do with the talent, nothing to do with the scheme, just... If you take away one or two of those interceptions, Creekside probably wins this game. I think he played overall better for 70% of it, but you just got to time clicking those buttons the right time, making the right decisions. If he takes a field goal on two of those drives, he could win 19 to 17 instead of going for the big one. So it's one or two small things. Just lock it in a bit, stabilize, and you should be all good for the second game. Got to agree with you there. It was one of those that, hey, you know, don't don't go over over what you have to do. You go ahead, play the smart plays, and just play very nice. And I think you might have identified that, by the way, of how I dot you won game one. You got to have recognized if you're Creekside that, yeah, that was a game that was my own device. So we'll go into game number two. No changes to be had just about anywhere. And I can appreciate that one. Kick off though, landing into KC. We'll so Dallas will go ahead starts. and receive. Typically, the first play is when we might see the changes. Depending, I don't know if you can reset the <laughs> lobby with, with the changes being kept. I would love that if so, but there's a, a more than zero chance we might see that. But I don't, like we said, maybe a bit of a rough ending for Creekside. They were playing great, and yeah, I unfortunately, have been through this all too many times. Especially when you're playing online, it's like this guy's really gonna take six minutes of my time to switch his entire lineup before we play a 30, 40 minute game in competitive. So I understand <laughs> it though, especially when you are up one nothing, leave nothing to chance. Now that you won the first game, you know maybe you got a little bit of juice got a little bit of momentum so gonna see some of the quick switches for dallas honestly the entire team is so stacked and they were healthy so there's just no reason to switch mm -hmm. go ahead and just play it smart and you know uh play what you know best of course for uh for i dot you going ahead and swapping them looks like kind of the same a level of uh, standard that you did in game number one no reason to shake things up as we said if you get those chance calls you go ahead and very happily carry on to your own win but the first quarter i do really want to see that change up i want to see the not giving over of 10 early on yeah just try to get out to the earlier start see because i think they are receiving again right yeah so theoretically should be able to come out have another really strong drive they played perfectly the first drive it was run 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 pass pass run run basically there it was nine ten plays down the field you basically took an entire quarter off the clock kept the ball out of Mahomes' hands you walked down you got seven it was a great start so try to take the points where you can get them try to force turnovers where you might see the opportunity you know we saw earlier two creekside there was like one or two times in the first half could have thrown the ball away and up taking the sack you lose 10 15 yards over the course of a football game it is a game of inches these things will add up so just stick to kind of the same game plan fine tune some of the mistakes and they should be okay but it is madden so right we saw the cd tip catch something could happen at any point and you have to be ready to pivot if that happens too prescott going ahead setting up here three four what can you get prescott looking gonna dump it off to the left side and shoemaker's gonna go ahead and juke one go ahead and get that first down very nice start to this try for Dallas. Yeah, I like to see starting off with the pass play too. He was so run reliant last game. To start off with the pass, maybe try to soften up the defense, then you can run it up the middle. It works the other way. If you run the ball a bunch, you crash the box, bring seven, eight defenders in there, then you can start to look over top. Same thing, you look over top first, it can open up things underneath. It can open up the slants, it can open up the outs underneath. So, well, the inside zone, Pollard is gonna look to break the first tackle. Will be a run, just about a pickup of one. Wasn't really able to break through. So we're gonna have second and nine coming up. Too bad, not too bad, and I dot you starting to get a handle. Said, okay, okay, let's play a smart. Covering the long, covering the far, but short is where it's at. Great stop there, denying most, but not all. Third and three for Creekside. And it's hard to say too because the two or three times Creekside did try to take a chance last game and ended up getting picked off. But the underneath stuff is really, really great to consistently get those chunk plays and those yards. Ooh. But you've got to go for the kill shot eventually, and that is going to be a great safety blitz. Justin Ooh. Reed going to come flying in from that linebacker position. That is going to be fourth and five for the Cowboys, pretty much at midfield. So I wouldn't be surprised if he does actually snap the ball here. Prescott Pollard in the backfield, making a couple adjustments to the outside. 
possibly looking for CD or Brandon Cooks as per usual. Looks like Casey is going to be playing some cover for Reed. Is oh. going to make a read. He's going to bail on the receiver. Oh. Though. He read the play correctly, but he had to go play the outright to the right side, and the seam opens up, and that is a great read by Creekside. Perfect placement, and you go ahead, burn a couple more seconds off the clock earlier, too. It's just so well done. Creekside more than happy about the current situation. That fourth was Golden Pollard, of course, going to take a little bit of a hit there. One yard is all you're going to gain, but it's well played. I thought you maybe frustrated in their own right. And as we said, it is the defense, but still, there's some moments where just like, dang, I probably should have seen that one coming here in the second down. They're going to try and give it the best. Prescott falling back. Long time to wait. In comes good dump straight back to Ferguson. Yeah, that's the thing too. If you're playing Greek side, I dot you is using the same player. He's always going to be playing that linebacker number 20, Justin Reed. So he understands that I have to try to run two receivers to the same part of the field and then break off separate directions. So he either has to guard me over the middle or he has to go and play the sideline right there. You run a guy up the seat, you get the out route to the right. You're able to draw Reed's attention. Press got the little QB option and he's going to oh. let the ball to the deck. Going for a bit of a run with Prescott is going to end up fumbling the first QB carry of the game and reminiscent of that Cowboys playoff game against Green Bay and fortunately stuffed at the one as well. Oh man, it sounds like you got some really rough history of that one. Just like that was not a fun game for you. Right now though, I understand this creek side a little bit frustrated. Oh right, gonna run it up here. He's gonna need to take up to try their best, but all you got is about two yards off that one. Just trying to get it out of that goal line position. KC going to try their best here in the second. What are they going to look for, though? Outside is where they want to go. Great little juke back in the middle. Still going to couple more yards. Third and three to go ahead and lay out. Yeah, it at least gets you a couple yards so you can kind of go for a pass play off the goal line because Creekside was doing a really good job. If you're able to stuff the run and keep them on this side of the field, you can get them to punt, flip that field right back to you. That is kind of no harm, no foul for last drive as long as you can get that stop. It's like, okay, I couldn't score. I fumbled. I made a mistake. Madden moment, it happens. Now I'm going to get the ball back. I get a chance to go make a play. We are going to see him try to go underneath, though, and Kelsey is going to sit perfectly on the route, is going to snag that one with a nice possession catch, and that is going to be KC driving for first. Very, very smart. Wilson winding down the last few seconds here in this uh, first quarter. I guess Pachenko again with that oh. run, shoots through multiple and is able to grab that first down. Beauty of a play. Yeah, Pacheco with the movement is going to break two defenders' ankles, and it looks like they are going to have to call one more play before the quarter ends. It looks like that play clock is going to be just one second faster. So we're going to have to see IDOT try to see if he can cook something up here. It looks like he's got Rice hanging to the outside. Everybody else, a deep cross over the middle. Possibly some adjustments to be made. Jarek McKinnon will be the lone back in the backfield. Looks like he's going to be extra protection. Mahomes looking to set, looking to go over the middle. Wow. He's got a receiver potentially open, but the read. Oh, but oh, 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 oh. He kills. That is a dot, and that is seven. What a holdout as well. I was worried. You know, we saw some of those holds by IDOTU earlier on in game one. I was like, oh, man, this ain't going to happen again, is it? Nah, great, great being there. And now IDOTU just gets to go ahead and kick, put a seventh point on the board, and that's all said and done in the first quarter. Reside going to have to play from behind. Yeah, these deep crossers will continuously kill you. You have to realize, you have to make that read and realize the second that receiver goes up, he is almost certainly going to break to the left. Trying to catch a streak from the far side is a whole lot harder than throwing that thing off to the left. So Creekside did a pretty good job on defense, all things considered, just that one play. And we see it even at the pro level, that same exact route beats theoretically perfect defenses for it sometimes. So sometimes not really a whole lot you can do, but you've got one more play left in the first quarter could potentially look to try to get the run game going. Haven't really been able to move the ball all too well in that regard. And right, even last time, you're, you're probably not expecting Dak Prescott to fumble, but you got to make sure you hit oh. that protect ball button, especially when the quarterback is going to run it. We are going to see five wide Prescott. Going to drop back the pass. Reed making some nice moves. Very over the nice. Be Jake Ferguson right down the left side. Nice little move to the middle. And that is going to be first and 10 at midfield. Beautiful job there. We were wondering about how far it was going to go down at Creekside, honestly, baiting out with the long pass, saying, hey, I might go for a, a little bit of a Hail Mary option. It's, it's not always there. I thought you got drawn in. The middle was wide open, and you let that one go through. Of course, now, remember, Creekside is trying to play a little bit faster moving into this second. We'll see if they can pull it off here. Prescott sitting pretty right in the middle, goes ahead and launches it, and it's Cooks to go ahead and hang on. Another He's first down, and then still some very nice. 
Yeah, great job. And Creekside playing off of what he was doing last game. He ran that same play seven, eight times last game. Every single time it was going across the middle to 88. So this time IDOT takes the defender manually, goes and manually cuts off that route over the middle. And then that opens up that second level that he was trying to get after last game, able to get a little bit of space there. And now we're going to see him start to cook a little bit. That's going to be another nine yards racked up for 8-8. That's going to be Dallas second and one at the five. This is that same spot you were in twice last game. You came away empty-handed both times turning the ball over so i'd look for something inside zone of the middle potentially maybe a counter run off to the right side but he's going to drop back to pass prescott could look to run up to the left side wow. he's got a window to run instead he's going to get aggressive but the catch by jake ferguson weight room over the defender over the middle a dangerous pass on the last one he will walk away with seven Sometimes dangerous is what you got to go for. Creekside able to tie it up here in the second quarter and a much needed one as well. That was that was a gamble. I'm going to say it. Creekside went for the gamble, made it work, got the pot, and is now going to have a chance on the defensive. And I dot you going to try their best to run it back and waved off this time. Not a single chance. That one, of course, I don't think so either. Going to have that option. And uh, KC going to go ahead, set up at the 25. Yeah, sometimes it is better to be lucky than good, and that was such a risky play because he was able, if he wanted to, he had, an, he had a huge hole up the left side of the middle. He could have run that in with Dak Prescott, no questions asked, but after the last time getting stuffed at the one, I think he kind of had PTSD about trying to take off in the pocket, so just right. sat back, said, I'm willing to take the 50-50 throw, that is all good for me, and just saw a nice little tackle on the other play, so three second and long from a home series, got Harbin looking to go possibly deep, got Rasheed Rice cutting over the middle, Noah Grace, same thing going down the side, Sideline, Kelsey making known that is going to be a nice little grab to the outside 15 at 20 yard pickup and first down. I'm really liking the fact that right now we are seeing a little bit faster uh, play coming out from I.U. and Creekside. They are both trying to hammer away for this one because there is no extended lead for either side. So just trying to run it as hard as they can. Nothing really gained there on that first uh, first. Oh, man, I can't talk today. Second is going to be up there. And uh, for KC, they're going to give it their best shot once again. Keeping things pretty clean. A little bit of a fallback for Dallas there. They're going to look towards the side. Kelsey going to move over. Going to wait it out again. 15 seconds and then some. I thought you taking a little bit of time. Now going to open up. Looking in. Falling back a little bit further. Now going to sprint. It might as well open territory and then some. Yeah, that's the thing with Mahomes. He doesn't look the fastest, but this guy has just enough speed to break the pocket. He has just enough room, just enough wheels to beat you, especially, right? You've, you've been beating him long all game and last game. You send three, four receivers deep. He's been dropping seven, eight guys in coverage. Hasn't been bringing any pressure. So it's like, okay, I've got six offensive linemen. You've got three D linemen. I should be able to break out of this pocket unless the sack comes through. So nice read by IDOT to walk up the middle there, get that first down, move the chains in. Now it's going to be first and 10. Two-minute warning just surpassed. So, looks like we're going to see Rasheed Rice possibly looking deep. Tony going to go to the outside. Pacheco, nice little wheel over the middle. The pressure is going to oh. get there. And luckily, just going to get that one away and save the sack. I am loving how much Creekside is trying to force this issue. Not allowing that time to wind down. Realizes that I doubt you loves to play those long balls. Looks for those long passes. And trying to keep that on the uh, on the down low. Just try and keep it locked down for it. So I dot you has to realize this as well. I go ahead and shift a little bit. And laid it out. No pressure in that middle. Good behind that chance for Mahomes. Mahomes falls back way far. Launches it right out of bounds. Yeah, Creekside read every single route on that play perfectly. I think he's finally starting to realize what IDOT is going for. It's either going to be the underneath, you're going to go to the second level over the middle, or you're going to go far left side crosser. So it's basically the prototypical Madden play. It's been kind of the cheese play for as long as I can remember. It's just about getting your safeties into the deep zone, use the ring over the middle to lock it down. So great job by Creekside. We're definitely seeing a lot more adjustments. The 7 7 game, pretty similar points wise to what we saw last game. It was only that 17 13 final. So the homes have to pass. He's going far left side, but he might have one open. He's going to oh. go for the jump throw. Will not be able to. Ron Bland just going to be a little bit too short on that one. That's going to be Kadarius Tony right down the middle. We talked about it. I dot usually uses these kind of uh, you know opportune plays, these kind of opening opportunities that keeps Creekside kind of on the ball, and it's working well for them right now. More than enough time to go ahead and get within. 
flag down on the play though, and it's gonna be a little bit of a timeout to be used. I, sorry, not 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 flag my brain. Saw a yellow and goes, hey, no timeout. Yeah, being yeah, go ahead and wind up. Yeah, we're gonna see it was creek slide trying to burn all this timeout. Just trying to see if the city will be getting the ball. So creek side probably gonna see if he can try to get maybe one more possession, try to kick a field goal. Assuming that we are gonna see I dot put some points on the board here. So let the clock run down a little more. Creek side is gonna try to set himself up. It's gonna be hard to get a first down. It is possible for I dot. But theoretically, next player or two should be either in the end zone or potentially back the other oh, way. That's going to be a great read by Creekside, but a nice little stop and go by Rasheed Rice. Great job, sprint out to the corner. Great catch, great throw, nice and easy for Mahomes. That is going to be a great touchdown for IDOT too. Grabbing the lead just before halftime. You left your opponent barely any time to cook as well. Perfect execution. I thought you really starting to show up here. I did say at the beginning, game one looked a little bit more opportunistic. I wanted to see a lot more of a controlled pace from IDOT this time around, and that's what we're seeing. Yes, small little mistakes from Creekside, but Creekside has also showed up their own defensive end, and it's just IDOT U finding those little opportunities. Very nice play so far here in the GHSA NFL Championship here with the Madden squad, B03. Ready to go here, kickoff, lying down the field, and might as well take it. Creekside going to try and run it here. A little bit of a question here. Tries to get away, but no. Stuffed and denied. That's why I called that the cheese kickoff, because even though it looks like you have all your blockers, it is so hard to get that ball past the 20, because it's usually your number two returner or the fullback, who is usually going to have 15, 20 less speed. So great read on the kickoff oh. there. Dak is going to have to hurry, getting rushed off the corner blitz. So KC going to dial up the heat. That is going to be a throwaway. That is going to be eight seconds left in the half. Potentially one more shot here for Dallas if they can hit a sideline. Prescott five wide going to drop back. Possibly looking to go deep. It's going to be a nice catch over the middle. CD, can he get down in time though? The clock is running. Oh. CD trying to get more and more. There is going to be one second left for Dallas to take an end zone heave. 63 yard field goal, I believe, would be out of Aubrey's range. So I think we're going to have to dial up the Hail Mary here. And I'm guessing that is going to be what we're doing. I mean, you can always try and send it, but I don't think anyone's putting money down on that one. Let's see what can happen here. Prescott falling back, waiting, waiting, waiting. There's the rush and denied. Great stuff there from IDOT. That is always so scary because if that is a half second earlier, the pressure, that is a fumble and that is probably six points buzzer beater the other way and now you're down 21 to 7 giving the ball up to Mahomes to start the second half so great job by I dot you especially made really really good adjustments going into the second quarter Creekside has played a really really solid game we're seeing a great chess match out of these two Creekside has done a good job moving the ball it's just getting into the red zone you have to convert right the one drive we come back to gets to the two yard line tries to take off with Dak fumbles away possibly seven points and now you're down seven without the ball at half Creekside going to do their best to try and fight back against this. They are on the defensive end, of course, and see what they can throw down. Maybe apply a little bit more pressure if you so wish. But right now, I dot more than half to kind of wait things out. Going to go ahead and run it, trying up the middle. Of course, looking out just a little bit to the left side. Gets a couple of yards, four on that first play. Yeah, nice little pick up there by Pacheco. I do like to see IDOT coming out with the run. If you notice too, the little red X under Mahomes, those are called X factors. And when those get activated, I think Mahomes gets 20 more passing yards in the air that he can throw the ball. This is very prevalent in Ultimate Team, especially where players have abilities for these kind of like turbo modes almost. So he definitely, this Mahomes right now could theoretically get the ball a lot further down the field than normal. It'd be a little more accurate as well. But right now the Creekside defense has shown up a nice little stop there. Is going to force KC back to third and six and back on their own 29. This is that time for Creekside. You need to try to get this stop, get that ball back. You still got the entire game to play. You just got to get that offense on the field. See if they can do so right now. It is IDOT to really try and deny that factor as well. You talked about chess, and this is one of those to play. How far can you predict your opponent, though? Look at the spread. There's going to be a little bit of wait and see. Long time to work for, and out to the right side. Open more than so. Kelsey once again going to grab that first down. I think he actually had a touchdown with Hardman. Circle was running down the sideline or down the seam, and I think he actually had a step or two on the defender, so potentially had six points, but you were more than happy to take a 20-yard game when you're already up seven points. Pacheco looking to get something going up the A-hole. Won't be able to find anything, though. Try to see if he can find that inside zone, though. 
Oh, possibly a no huddle, so I'm actually surprised IDOT's gonna go no huddle. He must have really, really liked what he saw, but other than that, I can't think of a good reason other than you're trying to maybe preserve some clock. Wow. Oh, you're, gonna, you're gonna leave your assignment. Creek side got a little bit too antsy. Maybe he thought he had safety help, but you were the lone defender. You let Hardman walk right into the end zone, rolled out the red carpet, absolutely dotted up, and that should be a two score lead for the Chiefs. I mean, look at all this space as well. Creekside drawn up. We talked about the chest sometimes. There is a move you just can't see. This is in the third as well. I dot putting a decisive 14 point difference. And I say decisive, but this is one of the larger leads I think we've seen in this series alone. Yeah, I think technically the largest lead was 10. I think it was 10 nothing or 10 three last game. So this is by mm -hmm. far the biggest lead. And now we're seeing IDOT really start to come into his own, really start to find the ball. And ultimately Creekside, I want to call that a mistake, but the way the player that he had usering there, he has to play a different defense because that player is simply not fast enough and does not have the stamina to keep up with that receiver. It is physically impossible with that skill matchup. So he's got to find some other way to drop a defender, maybe take one of these linebackers, play them in the farther backs so you've got to make some kind of adjustment. Nice quick throw. Saw the pressure coming. Great read to Ferguson. Exactly what you got to do. Let's see if they can continue this. Remember, it was Creekside to really build, I want to say, a foundational offensive drive. And this is one of those. It's just these simple kind of shots. And at this point, we almost expect a Creekside going ahead, putting two down, two first downs, and then some. Looking for a third as well to put themselves inside of the red zone if they so wish. But of course, right now, you're not looking for field goals or anything. The sort Prescott finds an opportunity, slide, slide. runs it up, and gets about Ooh. six. Not too bad there. Anytime I see a quarterback take off and not slide, it is, you, it, he didn't even get hit sticked earlier at the goal line and he fumbled with Prescott. I'd be sliding every single time I take off. Ferguson, though, nice little wow. grab right at the bottom. Shoestring catch is going to wrap that one in. That is going to be first down for the Cowboys at the KC 25. So not only is this a good drive, it is a good fast drive for Creekside. Mm -hmm. So if you score, you're going to leave yourself that much more time on the back end to try to get a stop, force that critical turnover, get that ball back and make some noise. But a bit of a <laughs> Throwing it to the wide receiver Turpin. That's not going to be your deep threat. That's going to be Legarius Sneed, the all pro with the hands, locking it in once more. A critical turnover at literally the goal line. Sneed, first one to break on the route. And just there, you have to know your personnel. That is a ball you only throw to CD Lamb in that spot. Robert Turpin, that's going to be a running back. He's not going to be able to go up if you grab that one, and you're going to pay for it. Oh, big time as well. Pacheco able to make it to that first down. More than enough space now, if you wish to go ahead and get a pass out. But right now, I think it is going to be just that push once again. Let's see if they can make short work of it. Creekside more than ready for it. And Creekside in these situations has to be rattled. You allowed a second interception. One of two in this game alone. Look at this deep dive back. But a nice little pressure down. Creekside denies any sort of throw. And not only did you get intercepted, every single time you got picked off, it was at the two-yard line. That's potentially yep. 21 points you left on the board in a 21-7 game. Even if you kicked three field goals, it's 21-16 with a quarter and a half basically to play. That is all the time you ever did. That is a one-point difference. Oh. The defense. Now we're going to see Micah Parsons, the all-pro, getting off the edge, getting Mahomes down to the turf. So it's going to be third and long coming up for IDOT. Back in the gun. Pacheco shifted off to the left. He's got Rasheed Rice solo on the left. He's got trips right with Tony, Hardman, and Kelsey. Got to be looking down the sideline, possibly down the middle. Mahomes drop back the pass. Pressure not going to get there in time. Defense looks to be there just a bit out of bounds, but you still should be getting the punt. No way IDOT decides to try and go for this one. So it is going to be a punt out. Go ahead and lay yourself in. Uh, honestly, the pick already worked. The interception did more than enough to stop kind of that momentum ride for Creekside. Now you get a punch delay. You force Creekside to run it all the way back down, and you burn more time. Keep in mind, we only got 49 seconds here in the third. All of a sudden, you're going to be in the fourth quarter, and that 14-point difference feels larger and larger each time. They only land about the 45, 47, but it'll be a nice one. Creekside got to go about half the field to try and make it back. Yeah, football is won in the turnover battle, and who will score when they get in the red zone? And right now, IDOT is clearing both categories. You either have to score when you get near the goal line, getting a lot of yards is nice, those end up being empty stats by the end of the game. You've got to convert when you get into scoring position, and you've got to stop turning the ball over. So right now, Creekside, you're only down two scores. You're already in the red zone. You have got yourself right back in position, but what have we seen? Once, twice, three times mistakes when he's gotten down here. So maybe look for Prescott to take off. Got to be careful of the stumble. 
trying to slide a little bit late, but that's going to be an eight yard gain, and that should roll us into the fourth. That's going to be a nice one right now. It is Creekside to, you know, they tried their best. And of course, this is now do or die time. Looking at that, a 14 point difference. I doubt you probably isn't sweating too bad about the current status of this game. You got five minutes on the clock for this fourth quarter. And you had that extended lead, so every time on your drive, you should feel pretty happy about what's going on. Next drive will most likely not be within your own tent. <laughs> you can probably try and find a couple more options to work with. Right now, though, Prescott. Trying to hold and get ready for that throw. You can go ahead and see on the right it's side. A little bit of open opportunity. It's more than available. Touchdown for Dallas. Make it a good read, too. I thought he was going to look back over the middle, and that would have been absolutely disaster last time I was trying to score in the red zone. But waits that extra half second. uses the patience. Pressure didn't get there. Able to roll right. Finds C.D. Lamb. Nice, easy back pylon. So that is a nice, quick touchdown. The entire fourth quarter still to go. you just got to see if you can, at bare minimum, hold IDOT to a field goal. Keep it into a two-possession game where a touchdown would at least try to give you the edge. But Hardman, yeah, we're going to take a seat at the end. We're going to take that one up to the 25. I still love the fact that we see the little jitters come out here, and it, every time I die, it's just like, really? Do, do I want to mess with this? Yeah, eh, sure, we'll do it. it it's, it's such a funny little thing. I love it right now, though. We are on that 25. Let's see what they can do. Mahomes going to go ahead and pass it off. And oh. has so much room to work with. Going to go ahead and drop themselves down, try and cut down that time, and I like that call. Yeah, that's the, that's the most annoying thing to play against when you know you're playing a smart Madden player because it's, right, someone would maybe try to take that 25, 30 yards, could risk fumbling, could risk potentially throwing the game, but he's like, nope, 10 yards, I'm going to sit this one down. If I kick a field goal and leave this guy a minute and a half, two minutes, he's got to run that ball down the, into the end zone at least once. He's got to score twice. Onside kicks, besides using some cheese or glitches, are virtually impossible in this game, as with most Madden, so it's going to be a very, very low percentage to try to win out that way, and right now it is just a nice solid drive that's going to be a few more picked up on the ground third and two and clock is running and not a moment to lose right now 320 looking to hold out a little bit longer though creek side trying to get themselves a good position out to the left side hardman's going to carry it the vendor in front i think across the line yes you are going to get that first down a little bit frustrated for creek side on that one yeah, that's kind of tough right now. If you're Creekside, he's running the same play. You have to take either Micah Parsons, one of your defensive ends. You have to zone him off into a cloud flat to the left. He has to be the one to try to play that receiver. And then you have got a user the right side of the field. It is a lot to do in the pre-snap pre adjustments, but it is really the only way to stop the play because right now he's sending three people to the left side of the screen. You only have one. That's a numbers game. He's got two more people to block than you have to tackle. So you've got to find a way to even up those numbers. And right now, two-minute warning at the 49, probably looking at maybe 14, 15 yards for a surefire field goal from Butker. So right now, it's all an IDOT to try to close the game. Let's see if they can do so once again. It's Pacheco, and you know what Pacheco's gonna do. Not a worry to deal with IDOT making short work of this fourth quarter right now. And honestly, if I'm Creekside, I'm sitting a little bit worried. First down once again, might as well be the third. Oof. You're gonna pass it up. Pacheco oh. is all there is to worry about. Yeah, Pacheco shifting and moving, breaking ankles left and right, and that is just textbook football from IDOT. You, the passing game is how you got into this spot. It got you that nicely. Now you're going to let the run game take it home. We're playing that short screen game to Hardman off the left side as well, but it is just going to be the inside. The give to Pacheco could potentially look for the dagger. He's going to dive to the pylon, and he's going to score. That's going to be fourth touchdown for IDOT, and essentially should be the game. What did we say, Joe? But we said it at the beginning. Yo, if the play is not red, if it's working, keep doing it. It ain't going to stop working anytime soon. I love it. I thought from game one, we said it was opportunistic. Some We said that game one was a little bit weird and Creekside should come back in game two. I thought has put any fear to rest and has looked great so far. Yeah, and for Creekside, it's just honestly another tough game. You were in the red zone four or five times. You've only got 14 to show for it. You should at least have 20 points on the board. Should have been at least two field goals that came out of those three, four trips to the red zone. But we literally said it going into game two. If you make two big mistakes, if you fumble on the two, if you throw a pick on an errant throw, that is all these good players are going to need. And IDOT has taken advantage every single time he turns the ball over. He makes something happen. I think only having to punt once off his back line. So right now it has just been a clinic right now. Reed is going to go to play over the middle. No one going to be open. Prescott looking to extend the play a little bit. He's got nobody open though. Karloftis, Chris Jones going to be in the area. That's going to be incomplete second and ten down two scores. 
Oh man, Creekside wondering exactly what they can do, and I dot you just looking to deny any of those passes. You can see it there, saying, "Yo, I don't really have to worry about anything else. Ain't no way a run is gonna get them in a range to do so." Of course, you could get some CQ work out, but Creekside knows things only go one of two ways. Either it works or it doesn't. Went a little bit longer, goes up the middle, able to grab it. We're going to go ahead and shave away a little bit more time, though. Got to get back in formation and run it as fast as you can. First down was made. Can you get a little bit more? Prescott goes ahead and fields, looks to the left, able to fire, misses, and going to dump the time. Yeah, it's going to be very hard for Creekside because it's kind of in a bridge saying, but IDOT is going to run the GTHB defense. Get the hell back. Don't let anyone beat us over the top. Everybody sprint to our goal line. Keep everything in front of you. We're going to run 10, 15 seconds off each one of these plays. We're going to be out of here in no more than two or three plays, probably half a drive. So they are going to bring pressure off the side. Great job to bring that lone defender. I think a nice little corner blitz by Jonathan Jones will make Prescott have to scramble, throw that one into the dirt. So it's going to be third and long coming up for Creekside. 35 seconds left in the game. Two timeouts to play with. He's got to score in the next couple of plays. So CD down the sideline and the seam is going to find that one. A nice little 14 yard pickup. But again, clock not your friend. 20 seconds in running Creekside. Looks like he's just trying to get at least something on the board. They're going to try their best. It is a long ball towards that middle. And honestly, you're not too worried about it. 12 seconds then some timeout finally being used because that's all you can do. I dot seeing the finish line. More than happy to cross it with ease and that's going to be a hard punch to the gut right there nine seconds that's going to be most likely it i dot you honestly huge showing from them right now and i'm very impressed with what they've done here today yeah a lot of really really good raids definitely a lot of madden experience usering making a lot of these adjustments making sure they're there to make every single play cd lamb through traffic will essentially give creekside a chance at the onside kick and one play down the field so assuming aubrey is able to make this extra point that is going to be not a deal for 21 on the board for creekside and now it all comes down to the most dreaded play while you're behind in football <laughs> attempting the onside kick trying oh, to get there it I, think, is. I think it's a 0.0 .0 Zero, zero, zero something percent chance to land an onside kick so this is pretty much going to be all she wrote brandon aubrey going to tee it off kick it down the left sideline that's going to be scooped up by jared mckinnon and it's actually going to be taken back for six i thought with a statement in a statement came six on the board at the horn and that is going to be all she wrote so much that was so good i thought that's tough that's tough <laughs> I loved every moment of that. I'm so sorry. We don't see the onside kick very often. We don't see that every day. And then I dot is like, yo, if you're going to give it to me, I'm going to take it. Go He's ahead. For try two. for the two points. I love oh. this. Listen, flaunt your stuff. You're the champion here today. Even throw it out of bounds just for a little bit of fun. It will be another kickoff, but honestly, I dot you 34 to 21. Maybe we'll see an onside kick touchdown the other way. We're going to see IDOT line up in the onside kick. And at this point, this is not some bad players having fun. So we're going to see if he can recover it. Maybe try to hang another six on the board. If he can theoretically fall on this one easy enough, that is going to be a great oh. onside kick. But it is going to be secure. He did. Okay. I don't want to out anybody. I'm pretty sure that is a glitched onside kick where it is literally like guaranteed to pop up like that. I'm pretty sure I've seen this discourse on Twitter the last few months. So may or may not be a G8 onside kick scene, but you're already up 13 at the end of the game. So I guess we'll let it slide. Well played overall from I dot you game one look messy game two look freaking amazing and honestly Creekside tried their best but again we mentioned it you gotta get those possible interceptions under control you also can allow some of those penalties to go down it feels a little bit bad that we keep calling it out because you played a freaking amazing game as well you are here in the grand finals of GS GHSA I couldn't ask for a better series that's why it's tough to every single game he had a million chances to win even at the end of the game right the offense looked great was able to bring it to within one touchdown if he's able to do that 35 40 seconds earlier he's potentially looking at getting the ball back with another 30 40 so there's a lot of plays and at least if you're going to lose it's good to look back and say i know exactly what i did wrong if i made different different plays on two different occasions or if i maybe made a different read this game could have gone my way and i would have been in the winner circle so there's a lot to be happy about just you know got to fine tune those small mistakes and losses like this in the finals are to be very helpful to paint that picture for you and then help you clean that up into the next game we also want to see what they can do throughout the rest of the other seasons that they might play because i'm very interested to see both these players try and come back into the ghsa see if they can make it to the championship once again but that'll be it for madden